Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take a Bath Productions with another video helping you fix various things. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to open up the transmit on the ICOM IC7200. I'm going to show you which components to remove, where they're at, and I'm also going to show you a diagram at the end of the video showing which component is what so there's no confusion. And I'm also going to have a little test at the end. So without further ado, Let's dive right in. Well, as you can see here, I went ahead and removed the top and bottom covers. Um, you might be able to get away with not removing them, but I chose to because uh, this lip right here where the cover meets the front panel is um, probably pretty tight right there, and you probably have a hard time pushing that back in there if you leave the uh, covers on. Um, but uh, you don't need to remove those covers other than the fact that uh, this lip right here needs to slip underneath of them when you put it back. Um, but to get the front panel off, you just remove these eight screws right here one two three four five six seven eight they are allen head screws um, they're also metric uh, i don't remember what size uh, two and a half millimeter somewhere in that neighborhood but uh, got to get those screws out and then you're going to want to remove this wire right here goes to the speaker i believe pull that out so that when you lay the front panel over you're not stretching that out all right, and then carefully wiggle this loose. Careful, these ribbon cables right here are still attached. And just slowly lay that puppy over. Just like that. All right. So this is a, uh, a whole view of the front panel. Um, let me show you the area that I'm going to be working on. It's Here's the speaker, of course and the ribbon cables and this ICOM indicator right here. Well, right next to the ICOM indicator is this bank of diodes right here is where we're gonna be working at. All right. Okay, before I remove anything, I wanted to clear up some controversy. Um, some articles will say to remove just one diode and then some articles will say to remove several and then add some back. Um, that may be the case for some of the radios, but uh, this one here is an American radio. And um, all we need to remove for the TX expansion is D49. Now, if you notice, the way the board says right here, D49, is uh, you're going to look at this and you're going to be like, well, this is this, well, which one is D49? Um, the, the way that the board is marked is a joke. Uh, this here is not D48. This is uh, L1073, and D48 is here on this first row. It's already gone. And then D49 is the second one, D50, and so forth. And the bottom one here is D55, which is already gone. So the official ICOM paper says for the TX expansion to remove D48, 49, and 51. Well, D48 is already gone. There's 49, 50, 51 already gone. So there's no need to do that. And then, of course, they want you to add back D50 and 63. Okay, so we are at 48, 49. 50 is already there. And 63 is this one right here. It's already there, too. So that's why we're only removing D49 because the rest of them are already done for us. Okay, I'm gonna use a hot air station on this, but if you didn't have a hot air station handy, um, they're fairly cheap, by the way, from Amazon. They're only about 50 bucks, but if you only have a soldering iron available, make sure you're using a very fine tip soldering iron. And what I usually do is I'll take it, this is not an X-Acto knife, but let's just pretend it is put an X-Acto knife under there to lift up a little bit of pressure on there and then heat up one side like this and then go to the other side and heat up the other side and just keep that pressure there and keep going back and forth until that comes loose. 
um, but I'm not going to do it that way because uh, the uh, hot air is easier and um, well that's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to pull this plug out of here because as you can see these wires are going across here and I don't want to burn up these wires so just pull this out here and just push it out of the way. Okay I've got my hot air station heated up. I've got it on high. Uh, you don't want to hold heat on here any longer than necessary. Okay, D49 is the first one in the bank that's actually there. So we're going to heat it up. I'm sorry if I'm blocking that a little bit. There we go. Got him out of the way. Um, also, another thing, I will post a picture of the um, layout of those diodes at the end of the video. So you can see exactly which one is which. And um, also, the uh, transmit is now open from 100 kilohertz all the way straight through to 60 megahertz. Um, just wanted to show you on the uh, 6 meter band, we have our full output according to the power output on the radio. Of course, I'm using a 2 to 30 slug, so that's not going to register 100 watts on the bird meter. But uh, let me cut this back here. And I'm in a dummy load, so. Uh, Anybody that sees me transmitting out of band can, uh, well, whatever. Let's see, how do you, here we go, 60. Okay, transmits right there. And there's our 30 kilohertz. It doesn't transmit there, as you can see, but it starts to transmit right here at 100 there's 99 no transmit 100 it transmits that's so far out of band the uh, filters inside the radio are probably going to suck out most of the power and you shouldn't be transmitting there anyway that's the uh, the AM broadcast band is starting pretty close to that so anyway there you have it I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.